Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and, in my opinion, talk about one of the most important components when it comes to SMC and when it comes to ICT. So, liquidity. And I'm going to make it very simplified. And if you guys want these PDFs, it's only about five pages, but I'm going to be uploading it on my website here at trainandtrade.net. Link in the description below. And I'm going to go ahead and simplify all the liquidity concepts that you need in order to achieve some sort of profitability now what why and how when it comes to any concept and in this series when i'm talking about smc and ict i'm going to break down what why and how and give you guys the understanding exactly why the concepts are important how to use how to use them and number one what are they right so number one what liquidity points should we use not every single swing point is a key liquidity pool the major liquidity pools are these specific data points. How many times do you guys see people say, oh, look at the buy side liquidity, look at the sell side liquidity, and they're just kind of pointing to like a random high or a random low. In my opinion, it's very important to understand that there are key points of liquidity. So we have the prior month highs, we have the prior weekly highs and lows, we have the prior day highs and lows, and we have the prior session highs and lows. Keep it simple. It really is this simple, and you can use this to achieve any sort of profitability that you desire now here is an example of the euro usd daily chart and just for an illustration i wanted to show you guys exactly how you can utilize this and just seeing it firsthand so again these are daily candles so look at how, how price reacts above the prior day high and price sells off look at how price reacts above around here this prior day low also kind of breaches this one and we have a move away Again, this is just to illustrate the concepts and how they essentially work and showing that there's tradable moves theoretically around these price points. We have a prior day low in here. Price drops lower. You can see that it wicked back above inside the range. Price has the prior day highs in here. Look how price took that out. Also took this one out and had a very aggressive move lower. If you pull out any daily chart, any weekly chart, any monthly chart, you will see these kind of signatures in price. Again, look at this specific day in here. Price takes that out, drops away from it, and you can see how price ended up taking liquidity to the downside and pushing up. So again, there's tradable moves are in here. And again, because these are daily candles, these are solid 20, 30, potentially you know, 50, 100 pip moves that we can identify with the proper framework. Now, obviously alone, there, this kind of means nothing, but this is to illustrate the point that there is something here when it comes to these specific data points. Remember, if the market is moving off an algorithm, it's going to have to remember specific data points. And that's why these specific data points are very important to understand. Now, again, this is the daily chart. However, you could use the weekly, monthly, four hours to see interest session. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that later in the video. <clears throat> now, why is liquidity important in the marketplace? Identifying liquidity pools with the proper context, of course, it gives us an indication on potential price direction. Our number one rule as traders is, hey, are we trading with a trend? Are we trading with a very clear understanding of where the market may potentially go? If we can identify where the, mic where the market has a high likelihood to trade into, it gives us a better opportunity and it gives us a better trading potential. Now, not only can you trade a potential liquidity run, but you can also trade the move to the liquidity pool as an objective. So again, when the market moves up, and a lot of people, they want to trade you know, that reversal when price clears a high or when price clears a low. But again, if we understand that the market wants to take out a prior day high, a prior weekly high, a prior session high, then we can identify potential trade scenarios to trade up into that liquidity pool. Now, how can this benefit us? Again, identifying where the market can reach into if we know the DOL. If you've been an ICT student, you've consumed any of this content, DOL stands for Draw on Liquidity. So it's very important that we identify that terminology. Identify potential reversal points in the marketplace. Again, it, this is not even just for like taking trades, but let's just say you are in a position short, the market drives lower into a prior day low, and the market ultimately has a reaction higher. This can give us signatures in order for us to manage our trades accordingly, right? We might be able to take partials. We might trail our stop losses, however the case may be. So identifying potential reversal points, again, is not only for us to find trade opportunities, but also for us to kind of 
hone down on our potential trade management, which is a very important component for our trading. Now, let's go ahead and let's go into the charts. The lowest prices in the entire industry with challenges from just $35 and payouts in as little as five days. The expert challenge is finally here. Get funded up to $100,000 at Skilled Funded Traders. With unlimited trading days, an 85% profit split, the expert challenge changes the game. Click the link below to get started today. Now, guys. Here is the chart of Euro USD. So I'm going to show you um, primarily the prior day highs and the prior day lows. Now, I'm not going to get too in depth in terms of actual strategies. I will really release that in part two. This is going to be a two part series. The whole point of this part one is for me to kind of break down the very basics of the concepts, give you guys an outline so that we can understand the foundation so then we can build upon it. Now, obviously, I talked about prior day highs, prior day lows. <coughs> previous weekly highs, previous monthly highs and lows. So what are the session highs and lows? You know, the other ones are pretty straightforward. Well, for me, the sessions are Asia sessions. So we have about 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern time. Some people use 6 p.m. It's really up to you. London session, 2 to 4 a.m. Eastern time. New York session, 7 to 10 a.m. Eastern time. London close, 11 to 12 a.m. Eastern time. Well, that should be actually 12 p.m. Eastern time. So it's pretty much going to be 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern time. And these are going to be my liquidity pool points in terms of session. Now, for me personally, I kind of prefer priority highs and the weekly highs and lows. And I use the session as just an additional liquidity pool. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to first illustrate the previous day highs and lows. That way you guys can see them on the chart. And let's go over and see how price reacts at specific points. Now, we can obviously in this scenario here, we can see this was the Asian session high. Notice how price ultimately took out that high and then had a move lower. Now, I'm also going to incorporate the session highs and lows and this specific indicator. I'm going to show you guys. It's actually a really cool indicator because it gives me the Asia open. Um, I don't really need this, right, because you have the Asian session high already indicated in here. But you also have the New York open. You also have London close. You have the London open. And it pretty much gives me an understanding of those key points in price. Now, again, look at this example here. And again, I'm not saying every move is tradable, right? You might have specific rule sets that you're going to trade ac accordingly. However, this is just to understand and see how price reacts at these key points. And then we build upon it in the part two. Now, obviously, we have London open high. Look how price takes that out. Price also takes out the Asian session high. And then we have a move lower. Price takes out the Asian session low. Price also has the London close, which again is a prior session. And the market ultimately drops lower into a key consolidation, the main area, and price has a move away from it. Again, when we kind of identify throughout the scenarios of price movement around specific levels, we're going to see continued moves. Again, look how price takes out the prior day low in here, which was also the New York open low. And we had a trade move away from it. <coughs> the market had a London open and clearing Asia, uh, Asian high, even even the days that it doesn't work. But look, there's again, there's a reaction. Again, I want to identify and show you show you guys how these specific points in price will typically form a reaction. Now, look at this specific day in here, New York open, we pretty much take out this high, we also come into a key level and then drop and we have this aggressive move lower. We also pretty much on this day, again, look at how price is reacting at the prior day lows, we take out the prior day low and price moves away. In this example, this is a very clear example, right? We have Asia high, as this was pretty much the, the opening of the week. Price takes that high out. We also took out again, what was this? The prior day high. Again, guys, just like clockwork. I'm not saying all these moves are tradable and you're going to catch every single move. But again, this is just to illustrate the point that, again, there's something here. Price takes out the prior day low, move higher. Price takes out prior day highs in here, move lower. So again, when we're identifying these types of price signatures, it gives us a clear indication. Even on this specific day here, price took out prior day low, which also coincided with a the London closed low, and we push higher. Again, you can look through multiple examples, and you're going to find this signature in price. Price taking out liquidity and then having a move lower. Price taking out liquidity, pushing up, having a move higher. And again, if we understand the concept that 
if price is taking out liquidity to one side and then has a reversal, we can look to target certain objectives. As an example, let's just say, you know, price takes out prior to low and price signature shows that we want to take out maybe the opposing end of a range. We want to take out the liquidity pool that's on the opposing side. This is going to give us a clear indication of price points where we can go ahead and target. So if we, let's just say, for example, you see that price took out liquidity and you're like, all right, where's my next objective? Well, we have Asia session high in here. We also have a prior day high in here. We can then look to target these specific points. Same thing here. Price took out a prior day low. Where is the next draw? We have Asia session that has not been tapped. We also have this prior day high in here and then market takes those liquidity pool points. So again, Understanding liquidity is very important, and you're going to notice these specific price moves at specific key levels. Now, let's go ahead just for argument's sake, and we'll go to the weekly time frame as well. Now, again, guys, here is the weekly time frame on the euro. Again, notice how we hit price took out the prior week high, right? Price had a price move, again, 100 pip move. Price took out the prior week low, again move away from here this is exactly why i say you know it's very, very important to understand these key points because even on a higher time frame it just gives you more of a range right again in this scenario here price takes out the prior week high push up even on a bullish week like this look how price takes out prior week high in here and we still have a little bit of a move down again this little move people be like oh that's nothing again that's a 20 pip move and that's where the market closed it probably had a little bit of a deeper retracement nonetheless if you get when we study these specific price points, again, it's nonstop. Price takes out prior week low in here, and we have a move higher. Price takes out this prior week high in here, and then has a move lower. So when we combine this with different facets, which I'm going to do in part two, we can really have a very good trading range, and we can identify key scenarios and trades at these price points. So Hope you guys enjoyed going to reveal a lot more in part two. So make sure to subscribe and until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.